welcome to Royal Goose. Oh! Wait, 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 see. Okay. I'm trying to make this a song for the intro. Uh, oh, you are. Ow! Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Oh, what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi. Oh, guess what I did recently? What's that? Is it actually recording? Uh. Stop recording. Yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, no. Uh, that suck. That's like my nightmare. Oh, God. Are you serious? Uh, okay. Um, I bought James a, or I I got James a uh, PS5. Oh yeah, and you also. Oh, oh yeah, but okay. Before we talk about that and how you are the freaking bad uh, of the century. Bad. Uh, uh, you also got me a. a uh, mmm. Yellow. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. Hey guys. Yeah, Ellie got me a PS5. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> um, Sorry. Yeah, uh, the, that last part was a little. Um, anyways, dude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, Elliot freaking is the badass of the century. You know why? Bad bitch. So, Elliot, tell me how you got your PlayStation 5. Dude, okay. Well, I was trying to get a PlayStation 5. I was trying so goddamn hard. They're so hard to get. And I fucking refuse. I don't give a fuck. Even if I have the money for it, I am not going to pay a scalper for a fucking PS5. Fuck no, those screw guys. That. Um, But yeah, so I tried so hard. I like subscribed to all these different Twitter feeds. I subscribed to a couple Discords. I was trying so hard to get a fucking PlayStation. I just couldn't. Um... And then my coworker, fucking super baller, he um he gets a second PlayStation 5 that he didn't know he got. So he bought one and then like for a little bit he was trying to get a disc version and he tried at uh, GameStop. He didn't even realize he got one. Um so it just showed up at his house and he knew that I was trying to get one and he's like, "Hey, I got this PlayStation 5. Like I'm just going to return it so someone can have it unless you still want one. I'll sell it to you for the exact amount I bought it for." And I was like, "No way." And uh, he lives across the country and he shipped it to me that day. Um, and I got a fucking PS5. Shout out to my coworker who definitely does not watch the show, but is like freaking awesome. Um, yeah, super, super dope. So James really wants to play Ratchet and Clank. And yeah, it just came out. Yeah. And I'm like, sweet, I'm going to go to Best Buy and get a PS5. You can't. Yeah, can't because <laughs> um, the Rona and probably some other things I'm not aware of screwed up. It's all, yeah. Sony. It's, I think it is like Rona um for two reasons one is slow down production they didn't they didn't anticipate how many people want one and they just can't like microprocessors are so hard to get right now where's the fucking guy he's supposed yeah, to be like right here yeah doesn't he come up and like play you a song right before he dies no you like see his statue oh you're right you're right you're right you're right you're right he's in the water he tells you the, the plot of what's going on yeah um oh maybe he's by those seats. no he's in the water you push him in from the water you go into the water and there's his body right there um right so uh with james though i was like all right, you know, my coworker hooked me up with a PS5. I'm gonna resubscribe to all the Twitter feeds, resubscribe to all the discords, all this stuff. I'm gonna try and get one for James. So it just so happens the first day I freaking try, I managed to score one. Like I went into the direct PlayStation queue and yeah, I got really lucky and I got in and um, yeah, I I was able to get one. Um, See, see, I, I, I got that alert too that, hey, PlayStation, yet, PlayStations but, are gonna be available soon. At, at like noon today, mm -hmm. I see. I was at work at the time. I yeah. was like, okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm it's gonna. Just, I work from home. I, yeah, Elliot was at home at the time, so I, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom at work and turn the data on on my phone. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have Wi-Fi, so I was sitting there in the bathroom stall, uh, taking a deuce and just hitting refresh over and over and over on the Walmart page and the PlayStation page mm -hmm. to see if I could get one. And I wasn't able to, but then Elliot, an hour or two later, was like, dude, let's go! Yeah, I texted I him, I was one. like, let's fucking go! As soon as, as I, I saw the text- I couldn't believe it. I saw the text notification on my phone, and it said, let's fucking go! And I was like, oh, that means he got one. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I like spam text him, like, I got one, dude! So yeah, Elliot, thank you very much for that. As soon as you- it arrives, I'm gonna be paying you back. My I'm, my piggy bank is about to get fucked in the ass. <laughs> it's so worth it for a PlayStation 5, dude. Yeah, I, I went and bought uh, the new Ratchet and & Clank and yeah. the Sackboy Big Adventure game. And, and get this, I'm only charging him three times the amount I got it for. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like he, you've become the enemy the that you hate. The thing that I hate. <laughs> What's the Batman quote? Like you either die a hero or you live long, long enough, enough to see yourself become the bitch ass the scalper. <laughs> God damn it! One, two, three. Ow! Ow! They're the ones they're waiting to see. Ow! <laughs> Welcome 
To Royal Goobs! Ow! We're gonna see. Okay. I'm trying to make this a song for the intro, bitch. Oh, you are? Ow! Oh, oh okay. <laughs> But that girl, don't skip the tag. Sorry, sorry. It, it, that girl, I knocked her up. She big, big booming now, Did bigger he? than a semi truck, shoeman. Now, now that my load has, uh, I don't want to gone explode. I'm going uh, to die. Go get my Prager's girlfriend up to fart out her thighs. A big batch of eggs. That's all that. I don't know, some dregs that doesn't work. Uh, just go get my knocked up girlfriend some help, please. And now he is dead. Heal it! <laughs> that's one hell of a way to go. Sure is. Go dude. off with an awesome guitar. That's that's how you need to die someday. <laughs> Before you die, you need to just whip, pull a guitar. Because you have a bunch of guitars sitting on the wall behind me. You should just pull one out of your butt and be like... <laughs> that's all, folks! <laughs> Then I'll heal your soul, and then I'll get a mask with your face on it, and then oh, I'll, I'll become you. Wow. <laughs> All the cringe will be stripped from your life. What will happen? <laughs> I'm going to save that subject for after this. This seems like an important moment. Oh, God. Is this a reenactment? <laughs> Ew. I, I just... Uh, what do they call it? Gleaked? <laughs> Gleaked. What? You know, you like, you like, pinch your your mouth in the right way. You just like rocket spit out your mouth. Uh, Glick, gleek. Maybe. I, I heard I... this kid in fucking middle school. We used to gleek on people like what? on purpose. <laughs> yeah, he'd like go up behind them and be like, and, like fucking spit on him. And I was like, dude, don't fucking do that. And he thought it was so funny. I mean, it sounds kind of funny, but also <laughs> it was like, funny, but it was fucked up. But we were also like fucking eleven or twelve. Mm -hmm. So if I could get a mask that looked like you and wear it and turn into you, th that would be wonderful. <laughs> True. <laughs> Though, ironically, if you found a mask of me and put a ma that mask on your face and turned it to me, you would be like, Oh, God, no! Fuck! <laughs> no, I'd still be me, so I, like... I have so much absorbent for cringe, I would just absorb it and just, like... And I'd spit it out. And I'd be your perfect final form. Okay, so let me I, I, I let me clarify to the oh Link made a oh what a sweet kid. <laughs> How the hell does a fish bone work as a guitar? Mm. Are the bones the strings? I think so. I think that's what they're going for. Yeah, I guess the vibrations from the bones. Kind of like um, uh, what do you call those things? Uh... You hold them in your hand, and I don't know what you call them, but you can tune them to different keys. It's a little tiny box, and you play them. Uh, they've got little, like, metal, uh, not strings. Boing, 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 yeah, boing, you know, uh, boing, boing, you know what I'm boing, talking about? I th maybe, but I don't know what it's called. I'm like, I almost have the name, it's on the tip of my tongue, but whatever, anyways. Haters. Hey look, it's that stage from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Whoa, dude! I, see, I, I didn't play Majora's Mask as a kid, so I didn't... When I played the stage in, in Smash Bros, I didn't, I had no context, but, you know, it was still a fun stage. No, I don't want to quit. Fuck you! Why, why do they force you to quit whenever you say that? I, I never know. understood that. Okay, so, next subject to talk about. First of all, yes, that wedding was super awesome. I think we basically covered all that. So hot. So, freaking uh, E3 happened this past week, and E3, I mean, from what I've heard, it, it was... A lot of the a lot of E3 was kind of lame for a lot of people, but I mainly cared about Nintendo. By the way, yeah, this chick wants us to go get the eggs. Uh, for those of you who have not seen this, uh, which is all zero of you watching, <laughs> that that old person, that's a chick. Yeah. Really? What? I think that's an old man. No. I mean, maybe it's a chick. No, that's an old lady, bro. Really? Oh wait, didn't we have the same conversation? In Ocarina of Time, yeah. You thought it was a woman, I think. Yeah, I did. And I think you looked it up, and you said it was an old dude, and I think you're right, but to me, it always looked like an old lady. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, hard to say. Um, so, um, but before we talk about E3, I, I was, as soon as Nintendo's E3 event uh, ended... Oh, oh, uh, I'm gonna coom! Yes. Blast it! The ultimate coomer! <laughs> oh, I yes. need to get the eggs! 
if I die and um, you you wear my mask and turn hey, into me, where do, you, where do I get a third bottle? I don't know. It'll make this way easier if I can get a third bottle. Oh, I can look that up for you if you want. Yeah, should we pause and like get a third bottle or something? Oh, because do you have to get the eggs in the bottle? Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me look this How up. I, get a third I know, I know you get one from doing the beaver race. I know. Beaver race? You mean Goron race? This is a free one. This one's from the Gold Dust. Um. Okay, Majora's Mask. All bottles. empty bottles. What up, Tangle? That's actually a song my grandpa taught me on the trumpet. Oh yeah? Yeah, he taught me that. Oh. All six bottles. Okay, there's oh, there's seven in the 3DS version. Whoa. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so you get one from Kome and Kotake. Yep, got that one. One from... You get one from... Oh, Kome's Tart... Oh, no, no, no. That's Nintendo 3DS only. Okay, one from the Goron race. Yep, got that one. One from Romani Ranch. You gotta blow up the entrance to the Goron race. Did that. Return to the big Goron. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, you... Wait, return to the big Goron? No, no, no. This, okay. That's the instructions to get the powder keg. Okay. Okay, so blow up Romani Ranch. Speak with Romani. If you can... Oh, okay, you have to do the... Nighttime thing? The nighttime thing where you protect the cows from the aliens from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. on the first night. Okay. If you keep, keep them all at bay until morning, she'll give you a bottle with Chateau Romani. Milk. Is that what that is? Probably. Chateau Romani. Mm -hmm. Heck. Okay. Oh, and then, uh, let's see, there's another oh, one under a gravestone. Okay, that, we're not there yet. That's Sakana Canyon. Oh, oh, wait, no, you're right. There is a beaver race. Yeah, yeah, that's, we can't do that until, like, we... You need the hook we, shot. I think you need to beat this temple and then get the hook shot. And then, uh... Or, other order, but yeah. <clears throat> there's Mada, Madame Aroma. Tell once, you what, once, you, once you get Romani's mask and the special, we will go letter. um go get the hook shot during the day. Okay, let's do that because then you get the fast entrance into the um, pirate temple, and you, then you can do the beaver race or yeah. whatever. So, uh, not to get sidetracked from the cringe conversation. Okay, uh, yes. Yeah, so I just have to point out, 3DS version fucked this up so hard. It's so fun to go around swimming in the Zora mask. It's fucking doo doo ass in the 3ds version why That's is so, it doo doo ass you go real slow you don't go as fast your shield thing you can't use while move it's like just really fucking dumb mm. yeah i remember it controlling okay in the 3ds is there an version egg in one of these i don't fucking remember uh, it, you just go real slow i don't know they're just like people aren't good so we're just gonna make it real slow and dumb yeah i, I think I, that is one of the main complaints about the 3ds version yeah. That and uh, though though I will say uh, apparently the I do like the graph the water the water temple that we're gonna go to soon apparently the boss in that temple is much better in the 3ds version. Oh, I kind of like the harder version in. Oh really? Yeah. I, but you know me, I like a challenge. Yes, you do. Oh. Okay, um, so the cringe combo. Sorry. Okay. Welcome to the pirates fortress, everybody. You got the sexy. Hey, Gerudo so have you ever ladies. thought about this other thing? Unrelated to the so, thing we're talking about. Okay, so anyways, E3 just happened, and uh, I was I was texting with Elliot after it was over. I was like, "Yeah, this is so cool," and uh, I told him that s this one YouTube channel that I won't name that I like said this about it's time to die. Metroid Dread, which Metroid Dread looks really cool, by the way. And freaking, I was like, "This person reacted to it like this," and Elliot was like, "Yeah, that that YouTube channel was cringe." And suddenly I had a moment of realization. I had slowly, I, I kind of knew deep down, but it all suddenly came to the surface. I was like, why is it that everything I like, Elliot thinks is cringy? God damn it. And what did you say in response? Cringe, cringe likes cringe. Yeah, cringe likes cringe. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I, I had another realization. I was like, wait a minute. He probably thinks that my YouTube videos I make are cringy. <sighs> He probably thinks Ask Mario has cringe in it. Which, not not to say you, you think the videos are bad. No, they're not bad. We had a big, long conversation about this. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there are parts that are cringe, but again, it's like... I mean, uh, like, what I said was, like, you know, just because, like... I mean, Teletubbies, for example, was mm -hmm. super kicking when we were, like, too old to watch Teletubbies. But I remember that thing being a meme and, like, really popular as a kid show. Like, just because I find that cringy, I mean, it's for kids and shit, and, like... Uh, Ask Mario's cool, and I don't think Ask Mario as a whole is cringe at all. I, 
I think there are just some things in it that might be a little cringe, <laughs> like one or two lines here and there. But so what? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, which moments specifically do you? Yeah, you I don't, don't fucking know. How would I know? I don't. I'm like. I watched all of them through like episode six, and I told you I liked them. I wasn't lying. Mm -hmm. I wasn't just saying that to like Brown knows you. Oh, like, I know, dude. Yeah, I, I like them, and I like the amount of effort you put in, and I I think they're fucking great, and I think the scripts are good, and I think they're original, and they're they're good, man. They're just yeah, I don't know, like I, I don't Part's even know. Cringy. I don't even think they're like really all that cringy either. I mean, just like. I mean, it's no secret that I think sometimes you you can you know maybe be a little cringe mm -hmm. sometimes, yeah. but like haters. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm the, by the way to clear to clarify for that. I'm not like deeply offended or anything. I oh, think it's yeah. funny. Yeah, dude, no, I, and I wouldn't say it to you if I thought it would hurt your feelings. No, no, no. I know no, you dude. take you, a joke. I mean, you you've been telling me this like for for many years. So if I couldn't, honestly, if you didn't think something I made was cringy in even the slightest, I would probably think. Who the fuck are you, and what have you done with Elliot? Yeah, and or you're just feeling weird that day, or yeah. something. <laughs> and for the record, I don't think that Ask Mario is cringe. I think. Oh, there, okay. There are probably like, there's a joke in there that's probably cringe. Okay. But like, I don't even remember it. Just when I see it, I'm like, okay. I remember your favorite moment was from episode four when somebody says, "Fuck you, Mario," and Bowser's like, "To the point, I like it." Oh. I remember you laughed at that part. Oh. I don't remember that part, but no, there were a lot of good parts, especially like in the early episodes. I liked a lot of those. Um, but yeah, I just I realized that there are so many things I like that Elliot finds cringy, and it's like Elliot. I like to think that you were born with like some kind of mental issue or like something that the average man would find slightly cringy or maybe a tiny bit sappy, but nothing too bad. It's like exponentially cringy for you. Maybe, but also like <laughs> again, don't take this the wrong way. I think just like. The people I hang out with and the people you hang out with, we all have different views on cringe. Like, mm -hmm. if I I told you this, I feel like if I asked my other cohort of friends what they think, they probably find a lot of shit cringy. But that doesn't make it wrong, right? Like, I think again, like cringe I'm just is all in the let eye me of just the beholder. Be, yeah, exactly. True, true, <laughs> so true. Let me just be as fucking honest as I can here. Um, mm -hmm. Don't. Yeah, and I don't mean this to offend anyone. And like, I want to be careful when I when I talk about this thing because. Just because I say something's cringy doesn't mean it fucking is cringy. That's my opinion, and that mm -hmm. doesn't mean you shouldn't enjoy it. There are tons <laughs> of shit that I like that would be cringy as fuck. For example, let me give you one of the cringiest things I like to watch. Really? I like to watch fucking One Piece. There's definitely a lot of fucking cringe in, in One Piece. And, oh, um, sure. Maybe. I fucking hate fan service, and One Piece has gotten so fucking fan servicey, and I you, fucking hate that shit. You mean all the boobs and yeah, stuff? Yeah, all the mega boobs like and all Nami. the like. <gasps> I'm like, don't make those noises. Jesus Christ. Get the fuck out of here. What is this shit? But like One Piece, <laughs> One Piece can be cringy. When I was younger, I used to like to watch Naruto. Um, that shit's oh, cringe as balls. Oh, um, boy. But that doesn't mean go. it's bad, right? Okay. <laughs> so what I what I wanted to make clear, though, is just because I don't like something or I find it cringy, that doesn't mean it is cringy. And that also doesn't mean you shouldn't like it. There are tons of things that I like that fucking James probably hates um, or okay. doesn't like. And I can't think of anything, but okay. I'm, I'm sure it exists. I'm sure, sure there are things yeah, that yeah. exist. Um, but I know, like, when I say things online, and like, especially to people who maybe aren't as old as us, they, I don't know. They I, might take it the wrong way and think, like, oh, the, this guy who's older and much cooler than me thinks this is lame. So, therefore, if I get into it. I don't know about the cooler it, part, but older, right? Like, I know when I was younger, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, this person says this is, like, cringe. It must be cringe. No, that's not fucking true. I'm telling you guys, if you're younger than me, older people don't fucking know more than you at all. Like, it's just, they, they are much more, like, vehemently opinionated, right? They're like, I know this and I'm right because I'm old. Like, yeah, no, screw that. No, that's no, not no. the case at all. So, just treat me as like that dumb kid at the back of the classroom who doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. So um, basically, if, if Elliot thinks, which okay, uh, hypothetically, if you did think Ask Mario is super cringy, don't give it to El don't. don't give in to Elliot's his hypothetical peer pressure right. and watch the show because it's amazing and the best show ever. I do think it's great. Yeah, go watch it. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck. I, is this timed? Uh, no. no. Okay. Um, yeah, man. No, it's uh. I, I don't even know where I was going with the shit, but no, that, okay. I think was, you made your point. Okay, yeah, you gotta put a, can you put a barrel on this way? Oh, yeah, no, uh, what was I gonna fucking say? There, yeah, there are, oh, right, right, right. There are a lot of things that you like that are, that I find cringy. Like, again. My Little Pony. My Little Pony. But that's um, easy. Everybody thinks that's cringy. That's, that's, sure. that I No, I know, understand. but I, I'm not done with that. I, like, that, there are, 
there are a lot of like YouTube channels that you like that I think are kind of cringe. There are like some, um, didn't you watch Fairy Tale? Uh, a little bit in college. Yeah. Like I, the first season, a little bit of it. I never even watched that because my, like, oh yeah, yeah, that Marvel movie. Um, that Guardians we're of about. the Galaxy. Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy. Yeah, we've been over that. Yeah, yeah, the end I think is super fucking cringe. Like, let's hold hands and stroke each other's dicks and we'll just stop <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you said it yourself, bitch. We're the guardians of cringe. Oh, uh, yeah, I fucking hate that. I hate those, like, one-liner things. I just, I don't think they're cool. Um, yeah, just, like, a lot of stuff like that. Like, overly dramatic shit. I just don't find that appealing. Although, I do, I, I'm not really into that much anime. But, like, a lot of anime is super fucking over the top. Like, just ultra dramatic. Dude, I remember, um, I think last year, uh, when, during the E3, when, during the reveal trailer for Pyra and Mithra in Smash Brothers. Yeah. You, you thought oh, that yeah. that trailer was cringy. I was like, oh, was it, was, yeah. It was, it was cringy? so goddamn cringy. Why, why was it cringy again? Because they're. super anime. It's like, I, I'd have to see it again. I, I could see it and give you my. Actual... Just the way the characters talked kind of irked Yeah, you and they're somewhat. just like, oh, oh no, Pyra, we have to do this. I'm like, oh my god, shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just, goddamn. Yeah, man. Um. So well, I guess what I was going to say. Right. The whole reason I. Now that I've covered my ass like yes. immensely. Um. <laughs> yeah. If I asked my friends, they'd probably agree with me on like what they find cringy compared to what you find cringy. Mm -hmm. Um. And you don't really find that much cringy, but. I. I th there. There are things that I do find cringy. There for are. Sure. I. I. Wait. I don't is feel this where like I fucking came from? No. 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 no, no. Okay. Or, or. Was no, because this one is low. The other one I had to go low. Or, sorry, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we're good, we're it, good. it looks super similar. It yeah, does. Yeah. Um, right. So I, I don't know. I just think the the people you surround yourself with are probably gonna hold similar values to you of what they think is like socially acceptable and not cringy. Uh huh. And um, because of that, yeah, I just uh, should we call this episode just cringe one hundred and one or yeah, something? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> the, the, the whole reason I brought it up in the first place is because I just thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, no, totally. Just that epiphany moment of mine Dude. I had where I was like, everything I love, Elliot finds cringy. Duh. Not everything, but yeah. A, a lot, lot of things. <laughs> it's true. A, a lot. lot of, <laughs> I, I just think it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, I guess... Uh, Oh, fuck me. I pressed A. Okay, we're 21 minutes in. I did want to start talking about E3. Now that let's do that next of... episode. Yeah, let's save it for next episode. Uh, next episode, we'll see if I can uh, manage to do this in 20 minutes. Okie dokie. Bye-bye.